Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about the pharmacovigilance interview questions and answers. This is the first part of this series. So let's get started. What is pharmacovigilance? Pharmacovigilance is the science of collecting, monitoring, researching, assessing and evaluating information from healthcare providers and patients on the adverse effect of medications, biological products, herbals and traditional medicines. Pharmacovigilance is also known as a drug safety, is the pharmacological science relating to the collection, detection, assessment, monitoring and prevention of adverse effect with the pharmaceutical products. What is an adverse drug event? Any untoward medical occurrence in a patient or clinical investigation subject administered a pharmaceutical product and which does not necessarily have to have a causal relationship with this treatment. What is an adverse drug reaction? A response to a medicinal product which is noxious and unintended and which occurs at a doses normally used in man for prophylaxis, diagnosis or therapy of a What is the difference between the A and ADR? Adverse drug reaction has the causal relationship with the drug and is definitely related to a drug whereas adverse event not necessarily be due to the drug and may or may not be related to a drug. What are the types of pharmacovigilance? That is PV. There are two types of PV. First is active PV. Active or proactive safety surveillance means that active measures are taken to detect adverse event. This is managed by active follow-up after treatment and the events may be detected by asking patients directly or screening patient records. The most comprehensive method is cohort event monitoring. Second one is passive PV. Passive surveillance means that no active measures are taken to look for adverse effect other than the encouragement of healthcare professionals and others to report the safety concerns. Reporting is dependent on the initiative and motivation of the potential reporters. This is the most common form of pharmacovigilance. It is commonly referred to as a spontaneous or voluntary reporting. What is the difference between safety reporting and pharmacovigilance? Safety reporting is reporting of adverse reaction during the clinical trials or in a pre-marketing phase of a drug, while pharmacovigilance is reporting of adverse reaction in post-marketing phase of a drug. What is spontaneous reporting? Spontaneous or voluntary reporting means that no active measures are taken to look for adverse effect other than the encouragement of healthcare professionals and others to report the safety concerns. Reporting is entirely dependent on the initiative and motivation of potential reporters. This is the most common form of pharmacovigilance sometimes term as a passive reporting. In some countries, this form of reporting is mandatory. Clinicians, pharmacists and community members should be trained on how, when and what and where to report. Enlist the suitable methods of reporting. The electronic modes are the internet, telephone, fax and the non-electronic modes are snail mail or post or personal contact. What to report in PV? Patient details like name, address, details of medicine like brand name, generic, formulation, mode of administration, indication, reaction details like date of onset, outcome details, etc. and reporter details, date and place of report. Who is the healthcare professional? Consumer, customer, reporter. Healthcare professional, that is HCP, refers to all paid and unpaid persons working in healthcare settings who have the potential for exposure to patient and order to infectious materials, including body substances, contaminated medical supplies and equipment, contaminated environmental surfaces, or contaminated air. Second is consumer. A consumer is a somebody who uses a medicinal product or service. A consumer may not be the purchaser of the medicinal product or service. Third is customer. 
A customer is the person or organization that purchases the medicinal product or service. Reporter Reporter is any person who reports an event. It can be HCP, patient or consumer. What is meant by the ICSR? ICSR it is individual case safety report. It is a report that contains information describing a suspected adverse drug reaction related to the administration of one or more medicinal products to an individual patient. What is the minimum criteria required for a valid case according to WHO? An identifiable reporter, an identifiable patient, a suspect product and an adverse drug event. What is day zero? Day zero remains as the day that the first information was received or day zero should be considered as a day on which the minimum criteria for a reportable adverse reaction are available. When do you consider a case to be medically confirmed? A case is considered as a medically confirmed if it contains at least one event confirmed or reported by an HCP. Here, SCP can be a physician, nurse, pharmacist, coroner, a psychologist.